How's it going, guys? Uh, got a game here against someone by the name of uh, Hipster Chick, taken from my live stream about two weeks ish ago. Fuck if I can remember. All I know is that my jaw still hurts, so we got this style for now. I might be uh, looking at this rate. I might be better by Sunday or Monday. No guarantees there, but uh, getting a little better, I guess. So uh, anyway, she's gonna lead with a Politoed. I lead with Dentura, predicting the Politoed make a very ballsy play, go for the HP ice right off the bat, predicting her to switch out. Uh, as much as I really wanted to go for the safe thunder, I did see that she had a uh, immune, electric immune. So I figured I might as well go for that, and it ended up paying off big, because now Chomp is gone, and I have nothing to worry about from that aspect. So, in comes Inatori, because my hidden power was ice, and I used it to kill Chomp, and it is not fire, and it would not really be doing shit in the rain. Anyway, I gotta go to Victini, and my Victini's all in before rocks, so that's cool. I don't take any damage coming in. And V create being uh, half power in the rain is, uh, you know, that's not really going to be good for me, but Notori is still times four weak to uh, fire, so instead of, you know, taking down six of them lined up in a row with V create, I could probably take down three of them, so uh, I'm suspecting that that still might have been overkill. I'm not. Uh, fucking whatever. I don't care. <laughs> so. Uh, in comes Sharpedo, and I did not come prepared for this thing at all. I knew this thing was going to give me a shit ton of trouble, and I don't know why she went for a Hydro Pump, but that could have missed. And I could have Fusion Bolted her ass, but, you know, she could have gone for the Crunch, and that probably would have killed me too. Maybe she was scared the Crunch wouldn't have killed me. But I did have the def defense drop this. The, the, the defense drops. So. Uh, whatever the case may be, I go into uh, Omastar, who actually ends up saving my ass, kind of, in this match. Well, could have saved my ass if I played correctly. So, this whole time I was like, why did she switch out? I was, you know, I, I don't know. And then someone mentioned in the stream that I swift some, and I was like, <gasps> Le Gasp, you're right. You know, that's French for gasp, but I, I completely fucking forgot that Omastar got swift some, so I'm really glad that I brought it, and I'm gonna go for the shell smash on the, uh, on the Politoed, because I'm thinking I can take one single hit from it. I mean, kind of ballsy move, but I am near full health. And she goes for the Hypnosis, ends up missing, which is like, alright, sweet. Maybe I can kill it from here. So, what I should have done, what I should, should, should have done, but I was really scared to do, is go for another Shell Smash. That way, if I had plus four and everything, I didn't see anything that would have had priority minus uh, Toxic Croak with Vacuum Wave or, you know, Sucker Punch, but that would have been a different story. So, as you can see, uh, Hidden Power also would have KO'd because she went for the Hypnosis as well. Had I known that she would have gone for Hypnosis twice in a row and desperately wanted me to sleep that badly, then I would have gone for it. But I just did the safe thing, and uh, safe thing didn't really end up paying off here, as you're going to see in this uh, next turn as well. Uh, chooses this opportunity, sends in her Toxic Croak, knows that my stab is rendered useless thanks to uh, Dry Skin, so I got to go for the next best best thing which is going to be ice beam had i had a little bit more in uh you know had i had that extra shell break boost i would have been able to kill it or i don't know min max anything like that but i didn't end up killing it and that's my ass handed to me with a drain punch with her which pretty much hurts like my jaw right now ouch so uh ends up getting drain punch recovery dry skin lefties and is back to a healthy like 60 percent ish so, I send in uh, Galvantula, Dentura, Ketchup, Zap, yo dumbass, is what I'm going to do. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know why she didn't have Sucker Punch, or if she didn't have priority, why she didn't go for it. Maybe she was like one of those bulk up, drain punch, uh, max HP, rain, croak things, whatever. And I also forgot that, what is this guy's name, Tornadus? I think so. Anyways, I forgot that he was, uh... As fast as Thunderous, not as slow as uh, Randorosu or Landorus or whatever. I thought he was a little bit slower than me, but that doesn't work. So, speaking of Landorus, I'm going to go ahead and bring in my Randorosu. And because I'm Scarf, going to go for the Stone Edge. And I was hoping that would kill. I don't know whether or not this crit actually ended up mattering. I am adamant with Choice Scarf. So, I do pack a lot of power, but it's not Stab. So, I, I don't know. I don't really run damage cocks. I don't really care. Um... <laughs> So anyways, uh, in, in comes Sharpedo, and it's got Protect, I'm like, fuck, it's gonna boost up, it's gonna be faster than me. And I remember that I'm kind of naturally faster than it anyway, if she's running a plus attack nature, then I still am faster. And as you can see, I am faster, but I missed the Stone Edge, and that is my fucking ass right there. I have nothing for the Sharpedo at this point. I would have been able to, you know, if Stone Edge hadn't killed, I'm under the impression that it definitely would have, because Sharpedo's paper thin. But, uh... 
If I hadn't, then it definitely would have worn itself down thanks to Life Orb Recoil, you know, from tearing down the rest of my fucking team. But I got nothing for it. So, as you're gonna see in a little bit, if the fucking playback doesn't lag back that much. Anyway, I sent in Kajando, and as much as I want to go for the fake out, and I do go for the fake out anyway, uh, she's got Protect, and yeah, that's... Wow, Camtasia, was the recording really that bad? Whatever. So, I she goes for Protect, I go for fake out, does Jack shit, because Protect. I, I don't even feel like narrating the rest, it's so pointless. Ugh. So, Hydro Pump happens in the rain. If it missed, they definitely would have gone from high for high jump kick and KO'd, but... Hey, you know, I'm allowed to miss high jump kicks, and my opponent is allowed to hit all her Hydro Pumps. You know, that's that's cool. I totally find that fair. Game Freak, thank you for that. So, oh, my last one happened to be Gengar, and I was like, Alright, Hydro Pump miss, let's go! And then I was like, oh, shit, Sharpedo's Park Dark too, and I forgot about that Crunch. So... <laughs> That's my ass. That was a uh, that was a 1-0, and I got swept by a Sharpedo in the end just because of a miss, which goes to show you how one move can come back and uh, bite you in the ass if it misses, and uh, punt someone intended since I got crunched for the last move. And that is going to be it for today's upload. Not sure if I'll be streaming today. It really depends on how well these uh, anesthetics I picked up at Walgreens work. Um, I don't know. I haven't really been able to eat either, which kind of sucks. So if I can properly eat today and my tooth isn't bothering me, then maybe, I don't know, my dad's out of town too, so I won't have any uh, internet problems or anything of the sort. And yeah, we'll just go from there. And yeah, I'm really awkward at ending these. I also finished uh, recording all of my Mega Man Zero episodes. Uh, if you'd like to go see my Let's Play, that's on LP Mosh Pit. I will link the uh, playlist in the description. Uh, you're welcome to go check that out as well. Uh, anything else? No, I don't really think there's anything else I want to talk about. So, uh, we'll, I'll see you guys when I see you. Sorry about jipping you this week with the non-my-style uh, narrations. Um, I'll, I'll do them as soon as I can. I really don't want to push myself. So, I'll see you guys whenever. Okay, bye.